Greetings, my Afrocentric home decor and style channel. This is Lisa Marie. How are you all? Uh, my Joe will hold to send. What will hold to send? My Joe, my Joe. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Me, ma, me, ma, Joe. I think so. But anyway, my Joe. So y'all, I had to show you this. So I, I, I'm gonna give some people a few minutes to get on. If you are gonna get on, okay. Peace and blessings. Yes, and I'm gonna get closer too. First, I'm getting ready to take my bath, but I wanted to come in for a few minutes. Hey, I'm good, Miss Lady Blue. How are you? How are you? Well, hold to send. So yeah, y'all, I wanted to show y'all my beautiful uh, Ashanti stool. This is the miniature version. You know, usually if you see me and I'm at the art center, I'm sitting uh, beside me is the Ashanti stools, the original Ashanti stools made from either mahogany wood or Afromosia wood found here in Ghana. But Kojo also makes uh, these. Uh, Kojo is the one from the art center, not my brother Kojo, Kwame's brother. He makes the smaller version so you could take one home. So I had to buy it. As soon as I saw it, I said, wait, 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 hold up, hold up. I did. Thank you, Deetra. And Deetra, I love that video you put on the group page. It was just, you are so, you're just so eloquent and spirit-led and spirit-felt. I know when people are speaking from spirit, and you definitely was doing it. And I thank you. Hey, DJ. So, yes, this is, and I knocked this thing thing in the, by the door when I first walked in. I don't know. It was dark. But this is pure Afromosia wood. That is the jean I mean. And let's look at the details on this beautiful Ashanti stool. So I knew as soon as I saw it, it just, y'all, it's like a whole new level of tranquility here. Is that African or what? I knew when I saw it, I was going to get it. I, I knew, a matter of fact, I now know for sure I'm going to get another one. Because I also want to put these on, hey, Sheila, I also want to put these on the altar, which my altar is in the Ashanti room, and so we got to have the Ashanti stool. That wouldn't even make sense, right, if we don't. Uh, yes, yes, it'll be for sale on the site for sure, for sure. Um, because it's something that's not going to run out, so that's the good part. So it's not like the bags. Yeah, it will. And even the lots of bags will be on the site as well. People just get them, they get them. But I'm definitely going to put them, y'all. I'm going to put them on, the, like I said, the altar. I'm probably going to have, like, where, where altar is basically where the plants are. That is my altar. Yes, DJ, isn't that an altar piece? That's an altar piece. So I thought, but you know what? Y'all know this is my altar, too. In this room, this is my altar, my vanity set. Uh, thank you. And in the other room, that's my altar, which is where all the plants are. But that's gorgeous. Y'all need to come get this. Y'all, if you want one, let me know. Because when I do pre-sales, that means you're getting a different price than we do on the on the website. But uh, but don't worry. It's still, it's, it's a, I believe it's affordable. And I think everybody should have one. And this wood will last you forever. And it's actually surprisingly lightweight. Even though the bigger ones are made from Afromosia too, the ones that are, and the other ones are mahogany, and I'm sure the mahogany wood, I'm, I'm positive, is heavier. It's not as heavy as one would think this is, and I actually like it for that reason. So you can move it around easily, but it is an altarpiece. There's no doubt about it. I cannot wait to share this with my group. This, this is an altarpiece. That is just gorgeous. And uh, I'm sure he's doing it in the uh, mahogany as well, but I actually really am digging that Afromosia. So, yeah, I just, oh, my gosh, let's cut off the lights. We have to see. We have to see. I'm putting on my music. Lights off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is, oh, that is gorgeous. Can you imagine y'all having them around the house? Like, in the, in, I could even see in this room, like, if I had a bigger nightstand, uh, or, or didn't have these on the nightstand. So think about those are actual candlelight. And also, also I got a couple of things that you can do with this, but just think about them. If you didn't have these lamps, you could have, and, and the different symbols too, you could have the Ashanti stools on your nightstand. So you just blow out your candle that way. And also think about it too, you could have the juafe. I didn't see him make it, but I'm asking him to make me a juafe. The juafe is the cone, the symbol of beauty. 
You could do the Sankofa, both symbols. You could do the Hope. You could do the Crocodile. I mean, like, I'm, I, I've only seen him make these, but he can make all the rest of them as well. And I'll make sure I will definitely have choices. If you want it sooner than later, then, of course, I'm, gonna, I'm staying home in the morning. I'll be home all morning. I promise y'all. And I will put all the description box with my email. is the blackberrybeauty at gmail.com. But if not, you can wait for the site, so that's no problem. Uh, but it's gorgeous. It's a standout piece. It really did it for the altar. And this is a soy, uh, soy, uh, what do you call that? It's a beeswax candle. And this is in the vanilla, which I always love vanilla. And look, you can do a much bigger candle. And what I love, and even, and I was thinking about if you ever decide to get the bigger ones, you could actually put a plant. And if you have a small starter plant, you could actually put a plant on this one too. That's what I was thinking too. I said, ooh, that'd be nice for, you know, your plants first starting out. You could put a bowl. You could you could put a bowl, but you have to give with, with oh, bowl with your crystals on it. You could put a piece of sage. It could be the altar on the altar. You can put your sage, your crystal, and the candle. So right around that candle, you can put your sage over here and your and your crystals over here. I mean, this in itself is the is an altar. So I mean, it's it's endless possibilities. And like I said, where you can put it, definitely nightstands, vanity sets, altars on the altar. Oh my gosh, in the bathroom as a nightlight again with your candle on the tank of the bathroom if that's if that works for you. Endless amounts on uh, on a coffee table. Oh my God, on a coffee table? Ooh, I, I, mm, definitely the end tables. And you don't even have to put a candle on it. I'm calling it a candle holder because it's small. I just wanted to give you the endless possibility with this. And you know, like your memory, I think I told you I bought this how many days ago? Oh my gosh, it was it was last week, and now I finally got it. I, I kept forgetting. But let me also show you the bangles, and I gotta send it to a few people. Uh, Y'all wanted to see on you know, my closet. We're going to have to fix this closet up, but for now, it's working. But y'all wanted to see, uh, some of y'all wanted to see the bangles up close, and I know a couple of people I have to actually send the email to. And I hope you saw that pre-sale today. Hey, oh, let me show you, sis. So the brother that makes the Ashanti stools, Kwame's brother, Kojo, he makes them smaller now, and now I'm calling them Ashanti candle holders and wait till you see it it's absolutely stunning and i bought mine a few days ago but i just brought them home today but definitely you can see it because remember i said i can get the led lights because this one in the nighttime i love this room but i want my plants to light up so i can get the a few ashanti stools and then put the candles the led light candles on top and it'll be lighting and it'll light up that ashanti and you can get the Ashanti stools in the Afromosia wood, or you can get it in the mahogany wood. Whoa. You know I'm getting them chills. This is it, Nicole. If you are interested, let me know. Definitely will be on the site, but since the site ain't up yet, y'all can email me and we can work this out. But it is pure something called Afromosia. And I was just saying how wonderfully it's an Ashanti stool. And it's the gene I mean, but I'm gonna see what other ones, other Adinkra symbols he does. And so we had the lights off. It's not, yes, that's an altarpiece. That's exactly what I called it. I said, now this is an altarpiece. And just so you can get that vibe at night, we did that. Ooh, ooh, my heart. My, my, like when I lose like that breath, like when I see stuff like this and I be like that, Oh, look at that. And those, those, and those, I think those calabashes really complement it. When I get that little kind of loss of breath, that means I'm in love with it. So also we have the beautiful. No, I mean, you could do a lot. It could be a place to hold your bracelets or jewelry you want to get to easier. But these are the bracelets. Uh, DJ, you put a, a YouTube up there. Oh, thank you. Is that for the... Uh, the, the one today for the, thank you, I, oh yeah, I love colors. Is that the one today for the pre-sale video? I hope it is. But this is, I didn't get a chance to wear it. This and this I bought on the same day and didn't get a chance to even wear it. So look, this is beautiful leather bracelet. And I'm, I'm, I gotta show somebody that comes in black and red. 
and you can see it even in the mirror how beautiful they are. Bangles. So I'll be sporting these tomorrow, but I'm going to put my candle back up here. And we're going to do that. How gorgeous is that? So I just wanted to show y'all, like I said, y'all had the best salad. Oh my gosh, my salad. The, today's Monday, so Monday's when uh, Faustina and Kojo clean. So my trash get taken out because Kojo here, so he know how to skip the bola people. Like I said, bola is the local name for trash. Uh, so he kits the bola. I got four cases of water instead of two. So I'm stacked up. I'm so excited. And I got my my a stool. So if you want the candle holder stool, I mean that's how I'm gonna list it. But you could do it other way. So because I had shown this um, on uh, a video when I was at the art center, and somebody said, "Oh, I want it," and they thought it was the bigger one. So to differentiate between the big ones, when you see it, I'll, for besides the price, the price will let you know what's the difference. I'll make sure that I say I show this as a candle holder or whatever you want to do with it. Isn't that gorgeous? Definitely. So the other one, I want to get a few, uh, you know, and just hook it all up, y'all. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you that. So let me get the greens to everybody. Hey, Tierra, you're so colorful. Thank you, Virginia. Yes, thank you, DJ, for the link. Girl, I knew you couldn't live without plants. It is your, I know personally. How, girl, isn't that the funniest thing? Can't even hold us. This is what I said, Nicole. It can hold a small plant pot. That is exactly what I said. It's a plant stand, isn't it? For your small plants when you first get it starting out. Can you see an aloe plant on no Y'all got ideas for days. Can you see an aloe plant on that? Especially because the aloe is, is a wonderful altar plant. And it's a very sacred plant. And it's also a healing plant. I mean, any plant would do, but can you see your aloe on that? One of those small starter aloes or any cacti or, or uh, succulent. And I say those because some, sometimes they have those that don't actually grow. So that would be nice as well. Like I said, you can, put your, you can take that same candle, put your piece of sage or your Palo Santo. Also your crystal on it as well. I mean, you could even use the, let me look at the size. Yeah, you could use the size. Can you imagine a wand, one of your crystal wands here? giving you that shakti when you sleeping and you already know you're gonna always know where it is listen y'all i'm been this is my 10th day raw so my whole spiritual mind third eye pituitary and pineal pineal and pituitary gland is open so open right now just the high the synchronicity the beauty the Oh, so much that i could see y'all i want to tell y'all it's, it's funny the youtube one is, is that correct uh, I don't know. It, it might be. I got stuff an email I received from the sister that helps you with the classes. Let me know if it's correct. Okay, I will. Thank you, DJ. I appreciate that. And, and plus, you have to PayPal me if you want to donate. Yes, I'll check. And uh, so, y'all, I want to tell y'all, like, oh, my God, 10 days raw, y'all. I'm too excited for words. I'm, I'm happier, joyful. My heart is open. We have a good amount of women in the cl in class, and they're also going to be joining the next one. So the next one is called How to Hold the Vision. Holding the vision is everything. Because there's so much in life that is so distracting. So you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have the link ready tomorrow, and I'm going to talk about it on my other channel, Blackberry Beauty. But some I wanted to talk about with y'all on this channel that I thought was very fitting. And, uh, and speaking of fitting, y'all, my other robe set pajama set is ready she called so tomorrow but i just want to share this and then because i don't have much um battery and then i'm gonna go so just like you know how beautiful and wonderful life is so i uh y'all know that i'm not in the business of finding people apartments right and i but i, I had to find this one apartment for i had to find this, this one sister in the apartment because i i said that i would but after that it's not me i got too much to do the business of buying and selling is enough. Of creating, designing, it's way enough. Of doing other homes is that's gonna keep me busy. And who else? What else the divine has in store? Doing the tours, all kinds of divine stuff. But I, we had went into this apartment to see for the sister. Now, even the, I, I, I mean, it the the first of all, the house that the apartment was a part of. So you know, they call them compound when they're complexes, or even when they're houses split into apartments was beautiful it had this round uh, uh entryway opening but 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 the apartments are on the side on top you know 
So it was kind of on around the side. Now, I didn't even notice, like, all the garbage and the, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't even notice the wood and stuff. When I went to the apartment, the apartment was bare bones, just like mine. If somebody, if, and some of you on my Facebook saw the before picture of this place, and y'all didn't even see every room. It was not nice. And then I could not see the vision. That's what I say when I say the pituitary gland is open. I could not see the vision, y'all. I could not see the vision when I first got here. And it was, it took, it took goddess, it took goddess to see the vision. Because remember I tell you, her, she's a, her father's a contractor, her husband's a, con, her ex-husband was a contractor, is a contractor, both of them, her father was a contractor, he's an ancestor now. So she could see it. She saw it, I didn't, I looked and said, she said, congratulations, you have a beautiful home. I said, what's, what's she, huh? But as your eye gets more attuned, as your spirit gets more attuned, as you get in alignment with the divine and the most high, you can see. And that's when you really start seeing. And even though these eyes improve greatly, especially being on raw, you really start to see. And so I walked into this place and yeah, it was, the floor was not nice looking. Now it was under $100 a month and you had a, you had, you walked in, it was a nice little foyer or hallway or receiving area when you first walked in, uh, and then, now y'all would never saw this, but this is what it was there. Then you walk in and you have a, it's, it's a department, they call it here, when it's self-contained. So one bedroom self-contained. But one bedroom self-contained means that it's, uh, it means that you don't, you're not sharing your bathroom with the rest of the house. You know what I'm saying? You're not sharing your kitchen with the rest of the house. Self-contained means it's an apartment with everything in it. Makes sense, right? So it was the kitchen, it was smaller than mine, but it was still, I saw how it could be fly, you know. Then you walk in, if there's a front room, which I would make the living room, and then the second room was the, would be the bedroom. And it had a little more, it was windows, and the window view was terrible. But if she took all that wood out and cleaned it, this is the landlady, you would have, if that space there could have been an instant garden, you could have probably, probably created a greenhouse. Now, let me just try to tell y'all, no, there's no way you would see this, if, unless you just got that eye, like God has had at the time, you know, and like I now have. So I, I think, I don't even know, because I think that Kojo, and it's kind of funny, like Kojo, and the other Kwame, this is, the other Kwame is the one that found the place. They kind of was like, what do you think? I said, oh, I think it's great. And they looking at me like, she does? I'm like, oh my God, yes, it's great. Wait, let me get my plug, because this part is funny. Now, keep in mind, y'all, that I know that, you know, that's not my forte is finding. Could, could y'all excuse me for a second? <laughs> we talk about keeping it all the way real. Hold on, ladies. This story, this story is, hopefully it's a spiritual story. Nope, sorry. Hopefully it's a, you know, it'll, it'll be as spiritually uh, impactful to you as it was to me. So, but I knew that I said, okay, I'm not here, you know, like, I just don't even have time to find people's spaces, but you know what, for her, like, I knew I said it, so I'm, I'm ready, I was in it, I was in it to win it, I was ready to do it, it was good, right? So, I, so Kwame, the other Kwame, I call him, and Kojo, and the agent was like, what do you think? And I was like, oh my God, I think it's great, I, I could see it, I could see it, right? So then, like I said, and so it had these windows. First of all, she had more like sockets or what do you call, uh, well, not even sockets, it was some more like, she had more outlets than I do and she had, well, it would have been her. So anyway, I must have lost my mind because I did, but I didn't, I found it. I was like, yeah, I think it could work. And y'all, it's under $100 for a one bedroom self-contained with your bath in the bathroom. So her, the toilet room had a sink in it. And then the other, the bathroom had a sink in it too. See, I didn't have that either. She got had way more outlets. I didn't say she, if she had wanted it. So it, I saw it, but there was trash and it's true. You see all that. It wasn't, it was more like wood and like stuff people collect. But if they cleared the area, this is what she was looking at. She would be looking at because that's nobody want to look at that. It's true. And I pointed that out in the video. So I did the video and I was like, yes, you know, I could see it. If you want somebody to help you decorate, I could do it. Honey, I sent her that video. <laughs> now, I, I saw it. It was, 
study. I saw it fixed. I saw the colors, the curtains. I saw that I, because I was going to go talk to the landlady and say, if you clean that up, yo, this space in front could have been a garden and nobody would attract it because she was the apartment last. So, I mean, for me, you know, but I mean, nobody got time. For, oh, that's what I did. Nobody got time for all that. You know what I'm saying? But obviously, I have time for that. Y'all, did I not in my own, my eyes? So, you know, you raw and then you're a designer, so you see something different. So what I saw, she saw apparently, so I showed her, and I remember, keep in mind, I said it's the last plate person, because that's not really me to be finding people places. It's more me to be decorating the people's places. So I said, uh, so I took, I was all gung-ho. I was like, yeah, I think she's gonna love it, right? I, hey, this is, this is the eye. And I sent that video to her, and she said, I mean, basically, I could feel like, huh, what? what? Uh, basically, she came back. I said, yeah, the garbage is a little so eye so but we can talk to the landlady, and she can, like, take the garbage away. And But I see the potential. Like, I could see it, and it was less than 100 U.S. dollars a month. And, you know, it was, hey. The, and then it was, she wanted it to be near Troll, and it was really, it was down the street from the Troll. I thought the neighborhood was great. I thought it was safe because it was more like a family feel. I was loving it, okay? Not only did she say, uh, she said, yeah, they could at least clean up. We kind of laughed back and forth. And I said, well, there were other places that I could show you as well, which, you know, like I said, I'm only doing it because I said I was going to do it. But it's really, I know it's not me to show places. She said, you know what? Uh, hey, you, you don't have to show me no more places, and but I still want to meet you. And I love her. She's watching. She know I'm laughing too. And I said, darling, I'd love to meet you as well. And so, I mean, the universe worked it out because I don't really have to go any more places, which is not really me. But it showed me something, how deep life is and how deep growth is, my own growth. That, y'all, I didn't know that that's probably not what you would sell your first apartment to somebody that you say you helped them to find an apartment. I didn't even know enough to know that that was, no, if you can't see it, that thing was like a mess. But to me, and even to now, like, I would love to go back and, and decorate that apartment. But it showed me something. I think I could decorate almost anything now. I think my eye that was so closed, my eye that couldn't see. And let me say, it's nothing against her because you can't blame her. Who You just want to move into your place. Now, I'm not going to say most places here come like that. Mine was kind of as is, too. No, if you got the big money and, or some decent cash, you could have a luxury out. Okay, matter of fact, where it's painting, they tell you don't paint nothing. You can't change nothing. You can't build because they have it all there, they feel. It's like apartments in the States. You got the more you spend, the more you get. And the more you want to live in Lease Lake on Continent, you want to live in Osu, you, hey, you got the cash, you could do it. You want the washer and dryer already there, you want it already furnished, they got that for you. But when you start playing with a certain amount of money, this is what you could get. But I think everybody can get what they want. I think she is going to do better on her own because she knows what she wants. It's so much better. And she's been here before. I'm mean, my first time here. But it was the fact that, yeah, I laughed, but I thought the oh universe is so good. It's like, look, you got other things to do. And she needs, she wants to find her own space. And it was every day to me being raw. When you walk out the door, you know there's a blessing for you. When you walk out the door, you know that there's something way more than what you, what you expected. And you know that everything that is presented in front of you is for you and for your good. Not just for you, for your good. So another thing I learned, because I still was a sister that talked about, you know, yeah, they go to Africa and they get these products and they don't pay that much, but they sell, they sell it for how many times the price. Let me tell y'all something about I'm learning, and I want you to know so you know what I, hmm. You know how the U.S. Postal Service, I mean, nobody really want to go in there and mail nothing out anyway because it just take a long time, and postal workers sometimes, not the ones that watch me, you are the best, but it's a little, maybe not always friendly or just not as quick, but some are, right? Just think about Ghana Post. Think about there's no one to help you with any really. Uh, we had to carry something, Kwame, that weighed pounds. We had to go back and forth. I, I couldn't believe little Kwame was doing all this. Like Kwame is um, Africans are the strongest people in the world. You gotta wait for hours, sometimes three, 
three hours. Now, if you're doing just regular packages like the bags, the stools, things like that, yeah. But when we start talking about chairs and canes and staffs, which is fine, we don't mind doing it. You just know you're gonna be there for about three hours, cause it's a window. You know the wind. You gotta carry. You gotta go. It's the, the 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 and then getting it. See, you're walking through dirt and pebbles and rocks. You gotta negotiate. You sweating like crazy. You gotta go back and forth because you gotta get the prices. So you make sure the shipping. Now I understand why they call it shipping and handling charges. See, now this is the notice. This is a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but I'm here for it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I love it. It works for me, but it's a lot of work. So what you're paying for is you don't have to do none of that. You just go click and you get it. So just, just the little things, the back and forth, the taxi that you got to take because the item is big and the, the post office is not that close that you can walk with that stuff. And So, I mean, just on all the aspects of import exporting i'm already learning and imagine the rest and I'm, I'm here for it and thank goodness kwame is here for it as well i want you to say my stuff was delivered it was delivered in a timely fashion uh all of that and so far i don't think nobody could say it was not delivered in a timely fashion or you know i delivered it i made one mistake once and that was okay i switched the order it was kwame actually but we ain't never did that again so it was it was beautiful. It was beautiful that I could see that I actually, I used to think that I needed to see it all kind of together first and then I could make it better. No, I actually, and this is new, like this is brand new discovery, so you're all hearing it. I actually like it when it's not looking great. I love the before because I know the after is going to be exciting. And it's like a brand new playground. It's like a brand new space to do some other stuff because you're one place, you can't do everything. There's no way in your space, or it's gonna look like my other house that, it was only because the, the desire to continue to design never stops. So you need a new place. And that is, I know that that's one of the things that I'm gonna do and I'm, a, I'm going, ooh, I cannot wait to take a place like that. And, and plus, see, I also knew it was just because my I had one like that. This is bigger, but I had one like that. So I know that the electricity the wires. I know that it's okay. That means you got to bring your own, you got to buy your own fan. But I knew that Kwame could put the fan in. You know, I knew I know the paint and how to do the paints. You know, I know the way to get the stoves and the refrigerators and what tanks you need and the like I know those things now so it made it even better y'all it made it even better but yeah and then anyway I took I was all like here's the video <laughs> she was like you know what I, I won't be needing your services but I still want to meet y'all like I laughed so I said hey girl I hear you because you couldn't see that one but and that's okay I don't blame you know it's like do you Every, and I think about it, Every she's got a plan to buy land. She might even have land, but she has a plan to buy land. So that's another thing. Everybody don't want to put that much into their apartment. They want to have it, you're going to pay more in the in long run, but they want it all together. And I did thought so too until I realized there's some beauty in the bones. And the bones was, I, I, I wanted that challenge. I didn't even think that place was as challenging. There's some way more challenging places. When I saw that space where all the bricks and wood and stuff was, and I saw how it was shaped and it was right for the apartment, and I thought, can you imagine, instead of taking that same view that had the ugly debris and stuff, but if you looked at it, the, the part, the, it was a beautiful enclosure, and then thinking about putting all, because you know me, I want to have my herb garden, because I got five herb plants, and I got all the regular plants, and um, I would have, and then think about now, change this scenario to you wake up in the morning and you see plants. You could do flowering plants. And the thing about it, I got the lemon, I got the lemon, basil, I got the mint. You can you could actually trail some uh, uh what's the favorite one I love? I want to say honeysuckle, you could do those too. But it's jasmine. Can you cause I saw that here. You could have the vines going. Oh my god. You could even build a little have some like people could do it here build a greenhouse and they didn't and she wanted cabinets and the kitchen didn't have cabinets so they was like oh no problem somebody can build your cabinets you can have your cabinets built have your mahogany and take them with you when you leave that's what i'm saying 
I saw the beauty, y'all. I saw the beauty, and I, I, I know, y'all. So next month, it's called holding the vision. <laughs> it's called holding the vision. You want stuff, you've been wanting it, you've been not getting it because you ain't held it the vision. Because naysayers, people that love you, told you you can't do it or they couldn't see it the way you saw it. Hold that vision, whatever vision for you. And I'm teaching people how to do it because you believe me, a person with two or three YouTube channels and been in business as long as I have, you got to hold a whole bunch of vision, visions because there's so many people telling you their vision. $97, it'll be on sale tomorrow. We got a book that's gonna be part of our assignment. It's a book from an alternative doctor that is from Ghana. He may be in the Netherlands now. His book is what is called Healing with the Plants. Beautiful book. Uh, so I'm ordering that for the students that come. It's also gonna be continuing the raw. So if you wanna do raw, you're thinking you're having a hard time doing it by yourself, we are doing the raw because these are the things that's gonna keep you holding the vision and connecting to your divine spirit. So yeah, we were there probably for about two to three hours at the post office, but it could have went like nothing. The post office is probably, for me, is kind of interesting because you meet so many people, or at least you see so many people. But Kwame was working, I don't think it was that interesting for him. Uh, but uh, they gonna know us well at that post office, so I just wanted to say that to you, like, your third eye does open up, and your spiritual eye, which is your third eye, does see beyond what you used to be able to see. And that to live a life and not have that third eye open is only to live a, a minuscule of a life. I won't even say a half a life. It's not even that much. And you want to live life with that third eye open so you see the beauty in everything. You know, yesterday I was standing with Kwame. He didn't even know my eyes. Now when I do raw especially, it was happening already just being in Ghana, eating even some of the cooked foods. But now my raw, my eyes opened up and I saw 2020 100%. And it was the most vivid, beautiful thing. All I did, Spirit said, hold it, just hold it, just hold it, just hold it, just hold it. Don't blink, don't get scared, don't get nervous, just hold it. Don't say nothing, don't say nobody I can see, just hold it. And after that, when it finally faded, Spirit said, and your next intention is called holding the vision. It's going to be a great class. We have a beautiful class now. So we have our six classes, it's on Zoom, but then we create a, a Facebook, uh, a Facebook. Nicole, are you in? Nicole, I thought you're in this group, and I don't know if you're, but are you, do you get on the Facebook? And we create a Facebook group as well. And uh, the Facebook group, y'all, is back like the wild woman who run with the womb. We had an extensive 14 page PDF. We used one of the ones we had before. The ladies is in it. We, I, I never, I, I mean, I haven't seen this in a while, but I haven't been it in a while. So I, I'm the one giving the classes, therefore I have to be the one, you know, doing the work. There we go. All right, ladies, my bath water's boiling and I don't want it to boil out. So we'll take a couple of, uh, I'll say my greetings and then we, are, we have to go. Okay. Okay, good, yeah, y'all calling me for these bags and I'm so glad because they're beautiful bags, beautiful bags. So, yes, I love this piece. Yes, it'll be on the site. Yes, I need it for my altar. Definitely. Hey, Lakeisha. Very pretty. Hey, Sheila, so peaceful. Sister, how do I do how do I do pre-sales? So pre-sales are uh, pre-sales are you email me and then you tell me what you want. And then I uh and then you I give you my PayPal me link that food. And I give you the PayPal me link, and then you send it. If anybody else want to know, send me the money, and I send you the stuff. I'm quite reputable, so I ain't going to take your money. Everybody know, but not you. I'm just saying for other people, so that's how it works. It's that simple. I promise, though, I'm already knowing that the site's going to be up. I'm ready. See, let me tell you why I went raw. Did you, I wanted to know. Do you want to know I went raw? Because I, I couldn't stay focused. Because I know what I'm about to do and the work that's involved and what I have to do for the website, believe it or not, for me, because it's pieces, it's moving parts. I know I need to be raw, I know I need to be clear, and I know I need to be energetic. And I also know that once that website hits, I'm about to be busy every single day. I already know it, because we're the, we're the ones shipping out the stuff, me and Kwame. So even though we're gonna have shipping days, it's, it's the holidays coming, there's gonna be days, it ain't gonna be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, they're gonna be every single five days a week. I gotta get ready. 
I got to get ready for the abundance. I got to get ready for the, the amount. I got to get ready for the joy. I got to get ready for so much. And that's what holding the vision on Next Intensive is helping you to do. And this one started the party. So, so yeah, that's how you do it. So I'm going to read from last, first, last, first, last, first. Yes. Hey, are you presenting any curtain stuff, duvet covers? Not duvet covers, but definitely the curtains. Oh, the curtains for sure, but not the duvet. Uh, yes, I joined late. I'll be more after the second half, but much busy month. That's right, no problem. Naturally says, hey, Lisa, late and late. Lisa relays, hey, sis, sign up for the next intensive holding the vision at Blackberry. Yes, sign up. It'll be on sale tomorrow, but thank you. Candice, Candice, I started the Earth Garden. I thought about you today. Greetings, I am, pro I am processed in the process of finding a new home. Your message is, yay! And you know what? This current intensive is for people who want to do that, but the next one will be fabulous for you as well. I'm with you on that to see what you created is magical. I say, hey, Fly Books, caught you live. Yes, you did. Welcome. Hey, ladies, got, glad to catch you live. It's been a while. Lisa Marie, I love how your space come together. Thank you, Carla. Lucky Sinclair. Love the name. Greetings, Lisa Marie. Hey, sweetie. The YouTube one, is that correct? Okay, I got to look. So, okay, everybody else, I greeted and I said hi and thank you so much. So, I'm going to go because I need to take this wonderful bath with these new products I got. I got, I got uh, clay from the Volta region of Ghana. I got salt scrubs, or actually sugar scrubs. I got this hibiscus scrub. Oh my God, the natural products that I'm finding. This stuff is powerful. And you know what, y'all? I talked about in my, uh, yesterday, I think I mentioned, um, maybe I mentioned in my group, but this thing called spirulina sprinkles. And I, and I, to myself, okay, you can get it on Amazon. I realized something, so I don't want you to take it and be like, I didn't feel what you felt. I realized something that I gotta remember. I'm getting everything right from here. I mean, if West Africa is the Garden of Eden. It is It is the where Eve came from, the Black Eve. I mean, it is the motherland. And who I gotta take? And these other folks know it, and they've been here pilfering and stealing for a long time. So the spirulina is, is more stronger, the clay, the salts, the sea salt, everything. So I'm, I'm really finding like these beautiful natural products and eventually I would like to start selling the salts and the sugar scrubs and the hibiscus and the, and all the, the amazing natural resources and products. And somebody asked me, can I ship herbs? I saw today that you can ship plants and plant-like stuff. I'm learning so much, so yeah, we, we will be able to ship the herbs. Like, so next time we have an herbal class, we'll actually be able to send the herbs out to you. So that'll be good as well. All right, y'all. So yeah, so this is the Ashanti stool. We're calling it a candle holder, a plant holder. Uh, it's beautiful. So email me, y'all, if you're interested. Will you offer? Yes, fly books. I really want to. Like, I'm really into it. So I'll be visiting some different regions in Ghana so I can see how to uh, get it because I bought some from another sister and said, oh, I got to offer this to my, my sisters. And then also I got all these recipes in my head from making different salts and, and scrubs and sugar scrubs. So yes, it's nice, right? Isn't it nice? Sounds so nice. Have a, have a wonderful evening. You too, fly books. Okay, ladies, I'm going to call it a night because first of all, the, the lights got me sweating. And I'm high and passion because I'm a menopausal woman. And I flash a lot. I think two part of it is I'm, I'm raw now, so I'm eating a lot of water rituals, and so oh, I'll be expelling water all the time. All right, y'all, like, share, subscribe, comment. If you did not see the pre-sale video, it is on the other channel, Black Baby Beauty Academy. It is the most recent video, and my, black, and my email, it was the ladies between DJ and uh, Naturally Clever, they're putting it there. Uh, my email is the, T-H-E, Blackberry, B-E-R-Y, beauty at gmail.com. Love you. Enjoy. Peace and blessings.